you know, it's really, really important uh, when you start keto to have the correct estimation of what it's going to take to do keto and what to expect. Because if you're going into keto with some idea that you're going to lose a certain amount of weight or you're going to be fully fat adapted at this amount of time when it's really a lot longer, it can set you up for a lot of frustration and you may even quit. So in this video, I want to give you a more realistic time frame of really what it takes to become fat adapted. Now, the big goal of keto is to go from sugar burning to burning fat. And in past videos, I've always mentioned this three days, okay? It takes three days. That is the start of burning ketones, but you're definitely not going to be fully fat adapted within three days. It's just not going to happen, especially if we add on all the other variables, age, menopause, history of having a slow metabolism, history of consuming a lot of carbohydrates. A more realistic time frame would be between four to 12 weeks. Yes, not days, but weeks. In fact, for most people, it really is going to start on the fourth week. Your body is finally adapted to fat and you're starting to burn fat. This also explains why most people will lose weight between the first and second week. That's mainly water loss. Okay. And then they may lose a pound the following week and they're thinking, wow, it's not working when it is working because this mechanism this transformation of your body creating a new machine to burn fat just takes a bit of time. So I really want to shift your expectations to between 4 and 12 weeks. Now, with athletes, like professional athletes, could take 12 months. Why? Because they're pushing every single cell in their body, and they have to be able to tap into that fat and use it as energy as quickly as possible. Now, how do you know if you're fat adapted? Well, number one, ask yourself, can you exercise while you're fasting with no dip in energy? Number two, can you go a long period of time without being hungry? You don't feel like you need to take a nap after you eat lunch. You can hold your urine through the entire night without having to get up and peeing several times a night. Now, there's another one as well. Within the first week of starting keto, the uric acid levels in your blood can double. That's just a normal thing that happens. And that can actually create even some gout in your big toe. The uric acid tends to follow the ketones. So if your ketones are going up, the uric acid will go up. And this is not a bad thing. It's just something that occurs. But realize that it's going to go away when you are fat adapted. So it could take up to 12 weeks before that completely goes away. You just have to wait until your kidneys have adapted to processing this excessive amount of uric acid. If you wanted to speed things up, keep bringing your carbs down lower and lower to even zero and fast longer and longer and longer. Both of those actions are gonna greatly reduce the time it takes to be fully fat adapted. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.